Hello everyone, this is Shanu Bhatia from Gossip Funda. Today I am going to make a video on the topic What happens when you block a number on Android? Let's start with the introduction of the topic. We take a lot of calls and SMS daily. The invention of the telecommunication devices makes the world smaller. They make our life easy and efficient. As the development took place, the technology behind telecommunication also changed from the phone on the table to cell phones to smartphones. Telecom has seen many resolutions. What is blocking? We all know that locking is. However, for those who don't know what blocking is, let us talk about it. Blocking is a function that enables the user to block any number from their device so that the person who owns that number cannot annoy them. The blocking service was introduced in late 2005. Benefits of blocking The main benefit of blocking is that it stops someone to annoy you. You can get rid of the calls from calls from spam callers and messengers who call you for credit card and all. You can go also get rid of the telecommunication company messages about their packs and plans. Disadvantages of blocking We did not found any disadvantages of blocking as such and it was only made to get an advantage. However, the only issue or you can't call it the issue is that you will not get any calls from the number you have blocked. If they need you in any situation, they can't get to you. Next are different types of blocking. There are mainly three kinds of blocks. First one is call blocking. If you want to block any number to stop calling you, you can use this method to block that number. There are several ways to block a number from calling. The first is from the device itself. Second is using third party apps. And the last is by the service provider. You can opt out of any of the three methods to block a number. The first two methods are reversible. However, the last one is not. Second, message blocking. If you want to block any number to stop message you, you can use this method to block the number. There are several ways to block a number from calling. The first is from device itself. Second is using the third party apps and the last is the service provider. You can opt any one method out of the three. The first two methods are reversible. Last one is not. Third one is blocking from IAM services. The last one is blocking someone from IAM services you use. You use services like WhatsApp, Telegram and many more. There are some people over there who annoy you. They can also be blocked. You have to block from each of the IAM service application to stop them from annoying you. The blocking settings are available in the settings of the applications. What happens when you block a number on Android? In this section, we are going to know the backend of the blocking system. We will see all the types of blocking take place in the backend. First one is call blocking. The first thing we are going to talk about is the call is the call blocking. When we block a number using the inbuilt app provided by the Android, when the call reaches to our device, the device registers the number, then search that the number in the contact database. And if it is not found there, it checks for the name, then check in the call blocking database that whether that number is present in that or not. If it is present in the list, then the call automatically gets rejected. Next is SMS blocking. When you block any number for SMS using your inbuilt services, then when any SMS arrives in your device, the device registers the message, then it checks the database for the sender's context details. If found, then it catches the sender name and then check for the blocking database. And if the number is found in the database, the message is saved to the spam folder. You can access the message anytime. Last one is I am service blocking. This is not a lot to talk about I am service blocking. This is quite easy. We are taking the example of WhatsApp. When you block any number on WhatsApp, the same settings get updated in the WhatsApp central servers for your account. Conclusion. We have talked about blocking a number on Android. We have also seen what happens when we block a number on Android. I hope you get all the information you needed about the blocking. I hope you like this video. If you like it, please like, subscribe, share my channel. And don't forget to write your valuable comment in the comment box. Thank you everyone.